Today I'll show you how to make an audio reactive lens that can react to the sound of your microphone so you can, you know, play sounds or songs or even talk and you'll see objects move around, materials, etc. So the first thing we want to do is to go write audio analyzer. That's the template we want. So yeah, this is the project you see here. Uh, let's just change to active environment. I can see here. So the first thing we want to do is to go to audio analyzer and change this to microphone. You want to go here, microphone audio. You go audio from microphone. And down here, you want to enable your microphone and hello hello so this seems to work pretty well if you don't have this microphone down here uh, you can try to take out out this one and it might appear I don't know um, yeah it's a bit weird sometimes let's get back to default layout so yeah you also have this cool VFX example here, which is also pretty cool. Oh, it got disabled now. Hello, hello, hello. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And these ones you can move around because they are attached to the world object controller. And... I like this one is probably my favorite. You can also go into the material um, and play around with it. Think where is it? Textures. Oh yeah, it's probably in here. So you go in here, right? And you can play around here with stuff you can change the color let's try to find the color stuff set mass where's the color okay so the color is here right gradient and let's just make this This, this, this. I don't think this one even matters. But yeah, here you can see I managed to change the color now. You can also make this bigger, make it spawn anywhere. So this here is a project I made with the audio reactive components and i made it so you can spawn any of the components onto your walls and your floors and your ceilings so you can basically turn your room into a audio reactive yeah whatever you want to call it and it basically spawns uh, random materials that you have decided so you just input your material materials into the project and you can decide how many different ones or maybe it's just the same ones maybe it's just these audio reactive ripples here which i think is probably my favorite uh, this project here you can find on my patreon in the link below this is really important because this will make sure that i can continue make these tutorials for you guys let me know what you want to see next and see you in the next one